Hi guys, Korean movie recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a 2004 Korean drama movie, called Romance of Their Own. The film is about a rustic girl who moves to Seoul to live with her mom. Her pure charm attracts two popular guys from different schools and they fight each other to win her heart. However, one of the guys has a fatal secret not to love her. What's that secret? How is their love triangle story? Let's find out together. Han, a rustic girl, has just arrived in Seoul to start a new life. However, her first day in Seoul is not as beautiful as she imagines. As soon as she gets off the train, she is stranded between two high school gangs who are about to get into a brawl. One of the gang's leaders is one, a super rich student who is cold-hearted. Meanwhile on the other side, his rival gang's leader is Tai, a baby-faced guy who loves to fight. The brawl turns out to be very chaotic. Everyone is beating each other without caring about Han, who can only grimace in fear and snuggle up against the wall. Fortunately she didn't get hurt. In Seoul, Han will live with her mother who divorced her father when she was a kid. After her parents divorced, she's then raised by her father in a rural area called Gongju. However, her father just died, so she decides to live with her mother along with her stepfather, stepbrother, and stepsister, Darum, who is the same age as her. On the other hand, Han is not worried even though she lives in a new city. It's because her childhood friend, Jae He, also moved and lives in Seoul. Moreover, she is also happy because she knows that her childhood love also lives there. That night, Han is so cheerful because she can finally meet Jae He, but her joy is gone in an instant after she finds out that her childhood love is now Jae He's boyfriend. However, she pretends to be happy in front of them even though her heart is broken into pieces. On her way home, Han can't hold her tears anymore and cries loudly. Unexpectedly, Wan and his friend are on that bus too. They are trying to find out why she is crying, but she doesn't really respond to them and immediately gets off the bus. It seems that Han's pure charm attracts one. On the next day, while Han and Durham are taking a walk somewhere, another brawl breaks out. But this time, it's between a mafia gang and Tai's high school gang. Police cars immediately come to the location, making everyone involved in that brawl run away in all directions. It's bad for Han because she is alone now. Durham just left her to meet one who turns out to be her schoolmate. Suddenly, a man puts his arm around Han to hide between her umbrella. It turns out that the man is Tai. But, Tai is a bit shocked because he thinks that he recognizes Han, but he can't remember who she is. Meanwhile, Wan and Darum see that their rival, Tai, is being so close with Han. Of course they don't let it. Wan immediately warns Tai to get away from Han or else, he will kick his ass. However, Tai finally remembers who Han is after Darum called Han by her full name. He immediately runs to take Han away, but Wan and Darum manage to find them. Tai has to leave her now. Before he runs away, he surprisingly calls Han older sister and asks her to always remember him. The day after, Han goes to her new school. Apparently, she goes to the same school with Dayrum and Wan. Tai, who is not from that school, somehow knows that she goes to that school. He does a risky action by visiting and bringing her some pizza. That school gang members finally notice that their rival dares to sneak into their school, so they chase him. But, Tai manages to escape from their school. When the school bell rings, Tai confidently stands in front of the school gate. He is waiting for Han. One is not happy and he tells him that Han is his girlfriend. The fight is unavoidable and Tai clearly can't deal with that many people. But, Han suddenly comes and protects Tai. She even takes care of his wound. Tai is very happy and he finally has the guts to tell Han that he likes her. He also asks her out on a date. On the other hand, the way Tai and Wan treat her leaves her confused. She has never been in such a situation before. Meanwhile, Han is waiting for Tai as they are supposed to have a date at that time. However, Tai doesn't show up so Han decides to call him through the phone box. Somehow, Wan is outside the telephone box and he suddenly brings her into his car. Surprisingly, Jae He is in his car, but he immediately takes her out. It turns out that Jae He cheats on her boyfriend. Few moments later, Wan also confesses his love to Han and asks her to be his girlfriend. 
but she still can't decide anything at the moment. Finally after strolling through the city, he gives Han a cell phone so they can communicate. It turns out that Tai couldn't attend the date because his grandmother had died. Now, he has to live alone. On the other hand, Wan and Han are dating for the first time. But, while they are dating, they find Tai is getting beaten by a group of mafia. One decides to help him and he asks Han to bring Tai home while he fights the mafia. Once they reach Tai's house, Han immediately takes care of Tai's wound and cooks him some porridge. But, when Han is not aware, Tai secretly hides his family photo. Why did he do so? Meanwhile, knowing that one is interested in Han, Jie he finds a way to make Han jealous. She tells her that she will go to a nightclub with one. Han doesn't want to lose to her so she also comes to the nightclub, but with too much makeup. It's because she has never been in a nightclub before. There, Han tells Wan the reason she comes there. Wan immediately brings her to a place where everyone can see them and suddenly kisses her, in front of Jie He. It makes Jie He feel like a loser. But somehow, someone spreads the photo of them kissing to the internet and Tai is so jealous when he finds out. He sadly tells Han that he is so disappointed with her. The next day, Han visits Tai's house to check his condition, but he's not home. Unluckily, she sees the photo which Tai hid before. Yes, it's their old family photo, and she is in the picture. Now she remembers her childhood moments with Tai. It turns out that Han is Tai's stepsister. After divorcing his wife, Han's father remarried Tai's mother. Han and Tai used to spend a lot of time playing together when they were little. That is why Tai fell in love with her, even though they are blood-related. On the other hand, Tai is so panicked realizing that Han is in his house and probably already saw the photo. He rushes to meet Han to explain everything, but he ends up having an accident. Luckily, he didn't get any serious injuries. When Han visits him in the hospital, he admits to her that all this time he didn't tell her the truth. It's because he loves her and he wants to be with her. That accident makes Tai know something about his health. He just found out that all this time he has a severe heart disorder. The doctor tells him that he has to undergo a surgery to fix it. However, Tai decides to postpone the surgery and not tell anyone about it. Meanwhile, after knowing that one is Han's stepbrother, he finally makes up with him. One is sure that he won't approach her anymore. One day, after visiting their father's graveyard, Tai's grandmother who comes from Australia asks Tai to live with her in Australia. However, Tai refuses and says that he wants to stay in Seoul. It's because he wants to live with Han. One can't believe what he heard. From that day, Han will live in Tai's house, making one worried even though they are siblings. But one night, Han finally assures one that she is fully his and he doesn't have to worry about Tai. On the other hand, after school, Han and Wan go out for a walk together. Unexpectedly, they find their school friend, Jung, is harassed by a group of men. Jung is known as a sly and two-faced girl. Wan saves her from those men even though her reputation is not good. After being saved by Wan, Jung spoiledly asks Wan to take her home. She also clings to one in front of Han, making Han a bit jealous. Meanwhile, Tai is having family time with Han and her family, and they decide to go to karaoke. Unexpectedly, they caught Wan and Jung being together outside their karaoke room, but Wan tells them not to misunderstand. However, the misunderstanding is getting worse as Jung tells them that Tai is the one who ordered her to ruin their relationship. Tai is so surprised because he doesn't even know Jung. This incident worsens the relationship between the three of them. At school, Han can't control her emotions and she pushes Jung. At the same time, one comes and sees what is going on. Suddenly, Jung manipulatively pretends to faint. Han tries to convince one that Jung is a two-faced girl, but one doesn't care about Jung anymore. He just emphasizes that he doesn't believe in Han's feelings for Tai and it is hard for him to see Han live together with Tai. However, Han is already very tired to explain to Wan that she only treats Tai as her brother. Their relationship is completely ruined. Meanwhile, Han still tries to confirm the incident to Tai. But unfortunately, Jung calls Tai and says that her mission to ruin Wan and Tai's relationship is successful. Tai is so confused about what is going on. Han can't believe what she hears and she's really disappointed in Tai. Tai thinks that he won't be able to convince Han after what's happened. 
Thus, he decides to move to Australia to live with his grandmother. Before leaving, he asks Wan to take care of Han. On the other hand, Darum and Wan are looking for Han to inform her about Tai's plan. However, they find Han is being beaten by Jae Ri and Jung. It turns out that the person behind all of this is Jae Ri. She doesn't want Han to be together with Wan. After saving Han, Wan explains that Tai is leaving Seoul and they rush to the airport to stop him. But they are too late. Tai's plane has already departed and Han regrets that she didn't believe Tai that time. Few months later, Tai sends them a video about his current life in Australia. In that video, Tai introduces his blind girlfriend to them. Moreover, Tai also calls them to ask how they are. Tai pretends to be happy during the call, even though he actually still can't move on from Han. Meanwhile, Tai finally decides to undergo heart surgery. But unfortunately, his surgery failed and he died. His girlfriend flies to Seoul to inform Tai's friends that he has died. They don't believe her until she finally convinces them by telling them that she can finally see because of Tai's eyes. In the end, she tells Han that Tai loves her so much and he doesn't want his friends to find out if he died due to the surgery. Everyone cries hearing that heartbreaking story. They miss Tai so much but now they can't meet him anymore. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and see you, next time.